Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. I'll be doing a quick demonstration on how to filter, aggregate, run analytics upon the data set that resides in Mongo using the Elasticsearch Mongo connector. So let's first start with our Mongo instance. So I have a database called Sample uh, Mflix, and the collection that I'm specifically interested in is the movie collection movies collection excuse me and you can see here it's a nested hierarchy and I want to pull this over into elastic so let's go do that so on our Kibana homepage, let's click on enterprise search and here we're going to create an elastic index you get confronted with a couple of options here I'm going to select a connector I'm going to call this mango movies I'm going to create that index at this point, it's saying, hey, what do you want to connect to? I'm going to connect to Mongo and then configure that. I'm going to keep the name description simple for a moment. And then the configuration, this is your Mongo host, username and password, what database you want to connect to. So here I'll be connecting to sample Mflix. The collection that I'm interested in is movies. Uh, the direct connection I'll say is false because I don't need to go to a specific node. And I'll fill in the host and username and password offline and then I will click on set schedule and sync. So now that I have set up connectivity to Mongo, it'll ask you for scheduling and you can do a lot of fun stuff here, but I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm very interested in the sync rules. So I, I want to draft how I wanna pull over data or what I wanna use to pull over data. So think about filters and such. So I'll click on, excuse me, I'll click on draft new sync rules here. And then I'll add, and then you get confronted with two options, basic and advanced. We'll start with basic for just a moment. And here let's say, hey, what is the policy? And I can say, hey, include where the field, you know, movie equals some value, right? And this is pretty self-explanatory. You can do a ton of things here. Um, so I'm not really going to review this because it, it's simple. What I'm interested in is something a little bit more advanced. So I'll go to the advanced rules. And here I'll plug in uh, a policy. So let's configure that. Let's go back to Mongo for just a moment. And in this scenario, let's say that in the collection, there is a field called runtime. And you can see here that basically the movie runtime, there's 11, 14. I'm really not interested in that. What I'm interested in is movies that are greater than 90 minutes. So what does that look like? So here's the query. And for those that are familiar with Mongo, this, this is basically a fine query here where runtime is greater than 90, and I, I can click save, and, and there you go. Don't worry about this for just a moment. I'm putting it here because I'll show you in just a moment how I use projections. So I'll click save and validate. My rules have been validated. I'll apply that. And now I can sync the repo. So I'll click on sync, and this will take just a moment. And while this is syncing, I can actually see the documents stream in real time. So that's pretty simple, right? I was able to filter upon something. Let's do something a little bit more advanced. I'll expand upon this document here. At this point, what I've noticed is that there's a languages uh, field. And within, let's go back to Mongo for just a moment. And I can notice that there's a language field here and it's an array. And it could be English and it could be many other languages. I'm specifically only interested in where the language is, is in English, but it is English. And the other thing is I want to only pull this particular object, the tomatoes object, right? Which is basically the reviewer. So I'm interested. In, so let's go, let's go look, look at how it looks like in Elastic. So I'll go back to sync rules and I'm going to click on draft new sync rules advanced rules and I'll copy and paste the policy. Let's walk through what, what is this what does this look like? So one, I want to filter languages and since it's in an array, I'm giving it the brackets and I'm saying, hey, it has to be in English. Obviously the runtime has to be greater than 90, 90 minutes. And oh by the way, I'm only interested in a very specific object within the J uh, within uh, Mongo, within its payload, and that's the tomatoes object. And this should all be familiar. There's nothing really special outside of the notation where you know, a lot of the projections for example tomatoes one or runtime greater 
uh, the 90 a lot of this is mongo language so let's go ahead and save and validate and it has validated my draft rules so i'll go ahead and click apply and now i want to resync so while this is syncing we will head over to documents and we can see in fact it did exactly what what we what i asked for it to do which is that I wanted to know that where the movies are in English. And then you can see that in the projection, which means I only want to return the tomatoes object, right? So this is the tomatoes object. You can see it's done that here. So to regroup or summarize what we've done here, I was able to quickly show that we were able to use the new Mongo connector to filter, search, and we can do search here, we can do aggregations now with it since it's now in Elastic. So we can do all that beauty here. But to connect to Mongo and pull data out, super simple using the Elastic Search connector. Thanks for watching.